Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back, as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Transformer versus thing. Yeah, we're going to do Scourge today. All right, excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right, got the G1. There's the original boat and slipper himself. We got Generations, where he's a B2 bomber, which I really like. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a nice little concept. We have Time Returns. When he returns back to a, uh, get it? Returns back to a boat, yeah, a slipper. Okay. And then we have the 86 movie from the uh, Studio Series, which is really good too. Oh my gosh, I love this one. So yeah, so going to do a little versus thing. We'll look at the uh, alt modes. We'll look at the bot modes. All that wonderful stuff. So let's just get to it. That's what you came for. Let's just get right to it. That's what you came for. Golly, got it out there. Yeah. Well, all right, folks, there you go. All four of them right there. G1, Generations, Time Returns, and Studio Series. So let's take a look at G1, like always. And he does glide. Look at that. Woo! It's got wheels on there. Awesome. And my stickers are actually pretty good on this one. <laughs> Most of my G1 stickers are trash, but not too bad. It's got a little, you know, up here, but the blue one looks pretty good. A little scratched up. Got some sticker right here. Sticker right there. Got the Septicon symbol. Got a little red paint right here. Now, there might be stickers as well. I might be paint, but not much paint. You know, blue plastic, light blue plastic, another kind of blue, kind of like that. And you got a little thing right here. It comes off. And you can open up his face and be a little creeper. We'll see that. And there you go. Underneath. Cleans up pretty good. Made in Japan. And 1986, so pretty cool. I like that. I like the slide across. So that is the G1. That is a uh, Scourge. Awesome. It's awesome. Now, all right, moving on to Generations. Excuse me, time returns. And this was a different take on uh, Scourge. He was a B2 bomber, which I like. I think it's a great, great representation of Scourge to be this uh, mold. Everything so I really like the alt mode. So nice blue paint right here. You got the, I keep hitting the camera. Sorry about that. Hit the black for the windows. It's pretty good. The plastic right here is paint uh, nicely uh, done. That's painted blue right here. You got some blue paint as well. Some white paint. You got some nice line work in there as well. Like I, said, I do love it. And there he is, being a little creeper once again. You got the little. Head crest thing on top of them. Then the back, you got the thrusters. That's really good. Now he does have uh, weapons that can, you know, can. The weapons are in here, a little container part right there. He does have some landing gear. They don't roll or anything like that, but you can flip them out. There's one right here. But yeah, I always liked this mode. I mean, it is really nicely done, and I think it fits Scourge pretty good. Nice Decepticon symbol with there as well. Nice little wingspan. See, I've always liked this mold. It's pretty good. So there you go. That is the Generations Scourge. All right, moving on to Top Returns. And just like the every Top Returns, they were all Headmasters. Uh, his name is Fracas. So let me pull him out real quick and look at him. Now he's got some nice paint. Silver, red for the eyes. Light blue for down the legs. Move around. You got the face on the bottom. So pretty cool. And you got that little sled. He rides in as well. Now he does, uh, he can use it as a gun too. Take this. So look at Time Returns. And one of the one of the better Time Returns molds that I liked. It's got some nice Decepticon symbol, some light blue right here, blue paint right here, blue paint right here. So very nicely done. And kind of got the sled thing going on as well. No wheels, just these little things right here. Kind of wish these tabbed in, but it's fine. Silver right there. For little outtakes or intakes in the back right here and that's where the head goes in and uh bot mode and you can turn around if you want to you don't have to but it's mainly supposed to be like that so nicely done once again like i said one of my probably one of my favorite molds uh, in the time returns the less class and everything so pretty cool there you go and then so you can put that back on right here and Fracas can ride around with a uh, Scourge. 
So that is Titan Returns Scourge. And moving on to Studio Series, and this one is awesome. Excellent, great upgrade, one of the better Scourges, I think. It's awesome. Forger class as well. I'll show you the weapons. I'll show you all the weapons whenever I get them out. But nicely done. Nice little boat mode. A little wider. Nice Decepticon symbol. Not a lot of paint on this one. Got some nice white paint. You got a little red paint right there on the tip. Now you can do, uh, go into creeper mode with this one as well. Just flip that out. There you go. See his head. Now there's another way you can just, instead of having to flip that out, you can move this up a little bit up to here. And uh, it will show the head all the way or all the time. But nicely done. There's the back. Now you can put blast effects right in here. So it looks like he's underneath right there. Cleans up pretty good. And you can see the feet right there. Yeah, you can put blast effects. I'll pick, I'll take some pictures and I'll show you. But yeah, nicely done. This is a beautiful, beautiful foot mode. Or a boat mode, whichever you want to call it. Slipper mode. I like that. It's really good. Oh, he did come with the blast effect as well. Nice little purple translucent. Little squiggly thing. So that's pretty cool. You can put it on right here if you want to. Go in the hole. There you go. Well, thought you can. Yeah. So, you can have that option. The playability with these things are really freaking awesome. So there you go. That is all four alt modes for Scourge from G1, Generations, Top Returns, and uh, Studio Series. 86 movie. All right. And Crapagonics, a bottle of aspirin, and crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right. Back from Transformation. And here you go. There there is the king of the goatee, Scourge. So let's take a look at G1 first. Now, I said I thought that might have been paint. That's a sticker right there in the red. So, take a look at this gun. Nicely done. It's just blue plastic. Some shiny plastic. Got a little scope right there. And it will fit in either hand. So that's cool. There you go. Nice head sculpt. Can't do anything. A little bit of movement. Now, now, this does move around if you want to. Now, he's got some nice red eyes. Like I said, he got the goatee. All right, can move up like this. Now he does have a ratcheted knee, which is cool. And no swivel of the hand. Once again, stickers look pretty good on mine. Not, not too bad. Now these can, I keep hitting the camera. I'm so sorry, I hit the camera. <laughs> these can move a little bit, not really. Um, you do have a swivel right there. And a little knee bend. You move these uh, calf things back. You may have a little knee bend, but not much. And a little toe tilt down. Uh, just because of transformation and everything. So not much um, articulation with G1, like I always say. Got to had to use your imagination. Now, he's a tall fella. I mean, he's a big boy. And then the back right here. You got the little rub sign as well. Some stickers right there. I don't know if he's missing any stickers or not. I'd have to go back and look, but I think i got all the ones on here. Anyways, that is Scourge. Let's see. Try to get his feet correct. There we go. So he won't do the fat Joe and lean back. So there you go. There is G1 Scourge. And moving on to Generations. And I still love this mold. So he does have a little hidden compartments for his weapons. You can open them up. And then you can try to get these out that so that's pretty cool he's got another one right here i can open it up so close that up push it back in tab it and there you go let's take a look at his weapon so it's two weapons you can hold them in both hands now you can flip that out and then you can C-clip right there. We have a double weapon. And he can hold them, like I said, in either hand. That's pretty cool. So, take that out real quickly. So we can take a look at this guy. Alright. Once again, like I said, I do love this mold still. Nicely done. It's got the red paint right there. Nice white paint with blue eyes with paint as well. Nice goatee. 
Looks good. Love that Decepticon symbol. So we can look down quite a bit, up a little bit, side to side, and that's about it. Once again, a nice head sculpt. Love this blue. Nice, uh, don't think of it as paint, but it's really shiny plastic. I love that Decepticon symbol. So arms can go up to there, all the way around. Now the wings can move like this. Uh, a little bit down as well, so you can position them how you want to. Does have a kind of an elbow swivel, and he does have a swivel for the hands. Now he's got the uh, kind of metallic red for the uh, fingernails, like he does, you know, on that one, and he did have in the cartoon. Um, waist swivel, so very cool. Nicely done. All right. And he does got some silver paint right in here as well. That's good. Of these, you can do the Van Dam, and kick up. Uh, not all the way, just like that way. Not much back. I guess you can move this at your little butt flap. You can get some more out of that. He does have a thigh swivel, which is good. Nice red paint down in here. This is all blue paint right here. More than 90 degrees for the knee bend. Now for the foot, you can go do a toe tail down, a little up, and he does have a rocker as well. That's good. So very well done on articulation. And he does have the wings. You know, they do kind of spread out. Not too bad. Just got some little waffle house going on there, but that's just because of the knee bend and everything. But it looks really good in the back. It's got the 80s working woman shoulder pads right there. So nicely done. Oh yeah, like I said, I still love this mold. It's a good mold. One of the better ones in generations. And I have like, I think I have like seven of this thing. I have a couple of these guys. I have the clear one. I have the Hinke one. I have the other one. I don't know how many I got, but I have to look and see. But there you go. Generations. Oh, white paint right up here, too, for its forearms, too. So now, mine, you know, for over the years, the uh, ball joints have been a little loose. I need to touch them up with some uh, fingernail polish, but not bad. Let's try to see if I can get him to stand up. Come on now. I was talking good about you, and now look what you're doing to me. You're embarrassing me, Scourge. Come on now. There you go. I'll situate in a second. All right, finally get it. This is a smooth uh, surface right here where I take my pictures and everything, so it is kind of hard to stand up on some of them. So let's take a look at Titan Returns. So he does, you can take you know the thing off in bolt mode, and you can use it as a gun. And it's just blue plastic, a little red paint right there. And then he's got his big gun where the headmaster was riding. And you use that. You can put any headmaster in there if you want to. So, nice head sculpt. Now mine's a little loose on mine. Silver paint and some nice red paint for the eyes. Looks good. Mostly can just uh, swivel side to side. Go down a little bit. Not much up because you're going to pop it out of the, the uh, bolt, you know, the bolts and everything. Because he is a headmaster. Uh, nice silver paint right here. Nice uh, Decepticon symbol right there. Some green paint right there, which is, I guess, it's okay. Um, come all the way up to, well, can't go all the way up there because you'll pop it on the ball joint. You can go to there. That does have this little joint right here. But thank God that was a ball joint. I just move in. Does have a little bit of butterfly. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, 90 degrees for the elbow bend. Does have a bicep swivel. In and out for the uh, hand. No swivel. Big old gap right there. Got some abs for you. He's been doing some ab crunch. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that head. <laughs> little hippie hippie shake. No waist swivel. That sucks. Uh, you can't do the Van Dam. You go all the way out to there. It is, they are. Got some uh, nice uh, ratchets there. Soft ratchets. Kick up. Kick back. Thigh swivel. And about 90 degrees for the knee bend. Almost there. Nice. Uh, Temple stickers right there. All these are temple stickers. Toe tail down, toe tail up, and no rocker. In the back, these go um, back and forth. These go back and forth as well. So you can situate them any way you want to. There you go. The back cleans up pretty good. And that head is just wobbly. So there you go. That is tight returns. Scourge. And last but not least, and he's freaking awesome, Studio Series. Now, I've already gone over this guy, but we're going to go over him again. Because he's that good. Nice weapon. 
Matches D1 quite a bit. Some Waffle House going on in there, but you got some sculpt work. And you do have a blast effect. And that is awesome. I love blast effects, man. That's so cool. I'm so glad they started doing that. So, head sculpt for him. Beautiful once again. Got that light blue paint. And then you got the goatee, the red eyes. This has got paint, the little red. And then there's a little light blue stripe right there. So, not much looking down because the goatee gets in the way. Not much up, side to side, you can do. Not all the way around because I think it gets in the way. Yeah. So, but enough for you to get. You can get a little attitude as well. So I like that. Nicely done. And you can move these out of the way. They go back and forth. And these are on our own hinge as well. There we go. All right, all the way up to there. You got some nice red paint in there. This is all painted like a light blue right there. Um, bicep swivel, more than 90 degrees, or, I'm sorry, 90 degrees for the elbow bend. Pink uh, for the uh, fingernails and everything. No, yeah, I'm sorry, there's a swivel. Hand, that's good. Um, last time I mentioned you can put the uh, weapon in both of them. There's a little groove in there, so he's just holding that. And he can hold the Matrix, too, that came with Hot Rod. That's cool. Nice paint right here. Nice uh, Decepticon symbol. He's still got, he's been doing some ab crunch as well. And you swivel right there. Van damn. You got a little two holes right there for some reason. Kick up and back a little bit. You can move these out of the way. You can get some better movement. Uh, uh, no thoughts, well, a little one, but not much. And you do got a 90 degree knee bend. Toe tilt down. Uh, not much up. But you do have a rocker, and that will pop out a little bit. So just be careful with that. And then you do have a pretty good sized backpack. So you know they are all the boat parts are you know on his back and everything because he got the whole world on his shoulders or something. But I think it cleans up pretty good, not too bad. These do stick out quite a bit. And you got some red paint in there as well. No waffles though. That's pretty cool. I like that. So there you go. That was the Studio Series Scourge. He's freaking awesome. And there you go. Comparisons. And Crapagonic, some bottle of aspirin, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks for scale. And just one more look before I do my final thoughts on these guys. Just to look at the progression that we've had over the 30-something years. G1... Generations, Titan Returns, and the Studio Series from the 86 movie. Lots of blue right there. All right, folks, let's look at some pictures. Yeah. All right, hope you like those pictures. Let's talk about some Scourge. All right, G1, like I always say, I just read myself. Gotta use your imagination to where it started. You know, this one's pretty cool. I like, always liked him and everything. Um, I got This is not the one I had as a kid, but I remember getting him for Christmas and um, he was pretty cool. I got him and Galvatron. I didn't get Cyclones, I don't think, uh, but I always cool to have him and everything. I always like the slipper mode. The boat mode is really awesome, so it's pretty cool. Transformation real easy. And it's pretty cool. So that is G1. Then we'll move on to Generations. Like I said, I still love this mode. It's awesome. It's got great articulation uh, for you know for being the Generations one. Got some good paint on there. Nice sculpt. I love the alt mode. I love the B52 thing. I thought it's pretty clever to use that as an alt mode for him. I think it goes well. I really like that. Transformation's real easy. Like I said, the sculpt work and the uh, the articulation is really good. I love the face sculpt. 
little gun. You got a little compartment to hide the guns. That's awesome. Pretty cool. Cool transformation. I love the arms, the way they pull out. And you got spin them around and everything. Really nice. I love that goatee. It's really good as well. So yeah, that's an awesome. I still one of my favorite molds from the Generations Classics uh, Chug, whatever you want to call them. Then, moving on to Time Returns. Now, Time Returns still, you know, it's not terrible, but it's, you know, out of the three, it's probably my least favorite. But um, he's fine. Like I say, he's one of my favorite molds out of the Time Returns one. Um, decent articulation, no waist swivel or anything like that. You got the gun, you got the headmaster, mine's really wobbly on there and everything. Transformation pretty cool. The uh, all modes, you know, it's, it's really nice too as well as a little boat uh, slipper thing going on. Got some temple stickers on there, or our tampo stickers. Uh, not a whole lot of paint, but where it's at, it's pretty good. It's not too bad. Um, probably, uh, my favorite mode is the alt mode for him. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. No, not too terrible. Like I said, you know, for time returns, he was a good mold. And last but not least, like I said, I love Studio Series. This thing is really fun. I like to, I love the blast effect it comes with. That is so sweet. The gun's nice. I like both modes. Transformation is fun. Um, articulation's really good. It's got some decent paint on here as well. Not a whole lot, but it's got some pretty good decent paint on there. And everything. I like the little pink fingernails and everything. All that stuff. So yeah, it's a good mold. I like him and Hot Rod. Um, I did find Jazz. Um, I'll do, be doing a... Uh, Kind of a versus thing with Jazz uh, coming up soon as well. But yeah, I really like Scourge. I, I love the bolt mode. It's really nicely done. It's just a nice, it's a nice figure. It's a fun, uh, uh, the Studio Series 86 movie stuff so far has been really, really great. And I'm looking forward to getting more stuff for that series and everything. So yeah, so there you go. That was my little versus thing with Scourge. Like I said, you got G1, Generations, Top Returns, and 86 movie uh Studio series, same thing. So hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Follow my Instagram. It's down here in the comments section. And uh, yeah, tell me what you thought. Which one's your favorite? Which one you like and everything? And yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next uh, versus kind of thing going on. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro. And good night, folks.